Good evening, friendos. It's time for a quest for semi-glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Sea of Stars. A Sabotage Studio. This is their second game. They were, uh, their first game, they were, they made The Messenger. And The Messenger was a very fun game. Um, so I'm looking forward to a very good RPG experience here. I've heard a lot of very good things about Sea of Stars here. Um, before we get actually started here, let me hit the options real quick. Make sure we're good here. I'm gonna dial that down by one. Keep the music up a little bit though, because it's gonna be rad as fuck. Um, everything else I believe is probably fine. We're not gonna worry about most of that, I don't think. Okay, the rest looks fine. All right, see you stars, let's go. Um, standard prelude here, since this is a new game, it's relatively recent and all that. Uh, no spoilers, no backseating, none of that, please. I wanna figure this out on my own, et cetera, et cetera. All right, let's start. Let's go, let's play some Sea of Stars. Hey, Firetron, how you doing? Good to see you. Two main characters, huh? Okay. Uh-huh, all right. Valer or Zael? Uh, okay, so, sword, or what looks to be a, a double-ended spear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with the spear, let's go. Let's start with Valer here. All right, let's get some lore. Let's get some narrative going. What, what are we doing? Where is the sea located? The great archives, huh? I am very curious. Yes, let's go. Important trait. Hell yeah. Curiosity's good, right? <laughs> the archivist. Well, I guess that makes sense. We're in an archive. Moral verse in the ways of alchemy. Alchemy sounds sick. Can I learn alchemy? Perhaps you knew that already. Uh, no. I mean, no. But, you know, start at the basics and move our, move our way up. Millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines. I had to return here to mull over everything I had seen. Oh, countless timelines, you say. Sounds like a lonely existence. Amazing about the stories that fill these books and scrolls are a recent epiphany. In my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. Oh, well, you know, that can happen. There's one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. Should the mists of time allow a slight alteration and believe the ray of hope that was once offered me at Bloom. Okay. Ray of hope. Understood. Very important. Tonight we'll explore a tale of high adventure. Magic and deceit, friendship and wonder. It's like a tale of heroism. Okay. They'll offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Oh, that ugh. Oh, I already don't like that name. I'm lost amidst all these times, all their subtle variations, and now just the one to make for a perfect starting point. All right. Sounds good. Let's see what we find in there. Yeah, what are we gonna find? World visited by the Fleshmancer generation. <laughs> Fleshmancer generations prior, causing this much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. I mean, with a name like the Fleshmancer, you yeah, imagine it's gonna make a mark, right? Evermiss Island. Two brave children of the solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. Okay, is that Valerian Zale, perhaps? They can fully fledged solstice warriors. They will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Ah, I see. Of course. Use magic without using magic. Okay. Does that mean technology? Are we learning about technology? Sufficiently advanced technology, indistinguishable from magic, right? Mountain trail, the lair. Alright, this fortress looks pretty good. Pretty sick. Good good styling. I'm I'm digging this. Elder Mist lives somewhere here. You think it's just another test? Yeah, probably everything's a test. Sure beats sitting at the academy. And so <laughs> I'm sure glad that's over with. I did not play the demo, no, so this is this is fresh, fresh and clean clean here. Hire yourselves for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. Sounds like something someone would sew something says. Lessons taught here may appear to be lost in you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. They're throwing shade at their training. I like that. Relatable. Fucking relatable. So I'll be setting soon as you should prepare to set up camp. Split up and search for a good spot. 
Oh, okay. You can just go left then, buddy. All right. I guess we'll go over there. Whoa, shit. Look out for this g goblin. Imp? Wanderer. Okay. Suck shit, Wanderer. Ten hitterinos there. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, why does he get two attacks? Fuck you, man. Alright. Uh, huh. Okay, what do we got for me? No, no skills, just attack. Alright. Perse to win. Fuck you. There we go. This feel easier to fight already. I mean, it only took two turns, of course. Oh, alright. Okay, quick button check here. Uh, let's move around. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright, just movement. Oh, oh, and con context. Climb and jump. Alright. Good. Oh, look out for that thing. A weird rock wood bull thing. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you're gonna try to pull something, aren't you? That's pretty cool. I like that animation. Mantle up. Oh, yeah, look at you. What do you got? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> oh, seven, huh? That's no good. Needs to do 18. Boo! Oh, but we got, we rolled the lucky three moons there. What do we get for that? A skill? Crescent Arc. Or Moonerang. Uh, Crescent Arc, please. On Roshave! <laughs> Fuck you, Roshave! Or 11. Alright, well, it was a little bit anticlimactic, but whatever. Yeah, no, we fought a Wanderer and we fought a Roshave. Uh, but we didn't find nothing. So, what do you got up there? Way through the top is up here, though, and I already made a fire and shit. Okay. Alright, alright, not bad. Unroll rope ladders. Okay, so shortcuts and shit. Got it, got it. Excellent. Down we go, and then I presume climb back up. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so there's no context button to run. I guess we are running technically already, yeah. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I mean, it's clear Zale didn't fight anything on the way through, because there's no way he would have made it that far without being interrupted once or twice. Uh, okay. Oh, we got a little, a little shimmy sham. Yep, got a little shimmy sham. Okay. Very good. Okay, it doesn't let us shimmy ourselves off the edge. That's good. That's good. That's good. Alright, can we, uh... Oh, yeah, we can actively avoid a battle if we so choose. But do we really want to do that in the beginning area? Probably not. Alright, let's, let's fight. Let's fight. Fuck you. Six. Not ideal. Ten? Yeah, whatever. We, we can take that. Alright, skill. Uh... Uh, Crescent Arc, yeah. No, actually no, I want to see Moonerang. A to deflect. Hell yeah! <laughs> that was pretty sick, I love it. Okay. Alright, that's, that's our... That's our big person attack. Oh, oh, hey, look at this fucker up there, yeah? What do you think you're gonna do? Did you see us rock the shit out of that weird snail thing? Yeah, what are you gonna do, weird stone bowl thing? Nothing. Oh, because it's... Yeah, we're at the fire. Paying attention in class or recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. Don't talk about solar magic. Zale, you already broke it. Oh, 
we're trained just being kids, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I make mistakes and, you know, etc. Hmm. Alright, so we got some past shit that we're worried about. Yeah, that's how the past be sometimes. It's not great. Ah, well. Okay, well, it's a bit too early for feels, I think, so... Oh, no! Flashback, though! <laughs> okay. Alright. Moon Cradle. Ah, they even changed the little loading sprites since we're ten years ago. That's fun. Good detail. Good detail. Oh, they changed the portraits too. That's super good. <laughs> Please do fast, kids. Pretend like they're gonna be big warriors or something. Sleeper? What the fuck is the sleeper there, Garl? There's the sleeper? No, tell us. The giant serpent's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since before there were traveling historians to record it. That sounds like a myth. But, you know, in the world of magic and using magic without using magic, maybe it exists. Ah, okay, that's probably foreshadowing something we're gonna have to do. Huh? Pulls the mountain wind blows through him, he mainly keeps it asleep. Got it, got it, got it. Pretty sick, honestly, if true. Lena, Brewgraves. Catch them before they get to the academy. Oh, okay, now we're in control. Save point? Save point, yeah. Yeah. Never not do a save. Look around at a few other things. Surely we're not on some sort of timetable, right? Alright, so very... Very Chrono Trigger-esque, I like that. Chrono Trigger's big good game. Real big good game. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Still playing in that little cave down below? Well, we were, but then the bell rang and blah 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 blah. Now we're off to see Brewgraves and I already forget first name, first other name. Yeah, the music is great too. Like, absolutely can hear the uh, the messenger influence, but it, this is this is really nice in its own right too. All right, hey buddy, I'm gonna stand on the patch you're trying to hoe there. <clears throat> yeah, the effort's well worth it. I mean, you got an important job making food for everybody. Keep at it. Keep at it, buddy. Oh, okay, trigger point. Oh shit, and there's like actual animated cutscenes. Oh, holy shit. That was cool. What a fucking good cutaway. Brew Gaves. Brew Gaves and Erlina. Yeah, there we go. Alright, alright. Go for it, girl. Do some magic. Do some magic without doing magic. Yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's big words there, Valer. Come on. Oof. Yeah, you. <laughs> you face into his elbow there. That's yep. That's that's strong. Very strong. Oh, and there's Zale with- oh, it exploded in his hand. Honk. Hate to see it. Okay. Big important man of Moonstaff, Headmaster Moraine, alright. Okay, sorry kids, those two gotta go. <laughs> Warning, do not enter Zenith Academy. 
Okay. Brugave's uh, Erlina. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, it's a bit. Thank you. <sighs> Maybe this coming weekend I'll try to fix that again. Sigh. So oh well. All right. Oops, I missed whatever exchange that was. I'm sure it wasn't important. Go to the Forbidden Cavern. Yeah, Carl's got the right idea. Let's do some fun. Can't open it. Shit's locked. So, uh, maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. Oh, needs magic, huh? Hell yeah. He gets mad and delays our training instead. Ah, oh. ah, oh, he, he wouldn't do that. Old man wouldn't do old man things. What about that after I open it? I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go. Alright, Garl. Lead the way. Or no, I guess Valera will lead the way. Let's see what else we got around here, since we didn't get a chance to look around. Not getting in trouble again. Hey, wh what do you think we are? A bunch of kids? Yeah, we're a bunch of kids. Ooh, big place. The cast really in Ruge is starting to be late. Bedtime soon, okay? Ah, maybe. Not before we set the events of the story from ten years from now into motion, right? Celestial Willow is gifting the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. You got it. Pretty tree. Aw, oh, it's hoping we found a little secrety secret up here by just running around. Not so easy to find the secrety secrets. Yeah, no, no, like hidden even the fucking basic bitch potions or something, or herbs, or whatever counts as the low tier healing. Learned about that yet. <laughs> You're right, bedtime was awful. But now it's just like, oh god, I just want to sleep forever. But I'm still terrible at like setting a reasonable bedtime too. Like I haven't learned, so yeah. How you doing, Omega Weapon? Good to see you. Alright, so we talked to, to Farmer Dude over there. Here was the other side of things, right? Oh, there's a well we can't go down. I'm expecting to see at least one waterfall that there's something hidden behind, right? That's the requirement. For this to be considered, like, anywhere close to an adventure game, there must be a waterfall with something behind it. Okay, I think we've done enough fucking about here. Let's go open the Forbidden Cave or whatever that we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, let's go south first, actually. Oh, there's nothing down here. Boo. Okay, let's go north then. Clearly out the main gate, because we got the, the moon and the sun and, you know, whatever. Leave Moon Cradle and go on the northern path and... Run into a, a goblin or an imp. Oh, hey, this is neat. So we got a little overworldy bit too. That's fun. Okay, Forbidden Cavern, let's open this shit. Let's cast the weird kid magic and open this clearly very dangerous cave after we save. Alright, open. Uh, ice. Ice 2. Nah, kids would know Ice 2, what am I saying? Carl's got the right idea. Fucking eat. Eat something. Who cares? No, no, no. Dude's got free food. Eat it. Eat, eat the food. Right? Hell yeah. See? Garl's got, Garl's got this covered. Oh, shit! That looks like an awesome sandwich. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get into trouble. Well, who's gonna narc on us, huh? 
Zale, you gonna narc on us? No. Don't don't do it, Zale. Don't be a narc. How do I do this? I don't know. Put your hand on it. There you go. Also, also do that. Yeah. Give that thing a good old slap. Slap that door out the way. Oh shit! Didn't actually think it would work. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you, Zale. I am surprised that worked. Uh, cool. Good job, Flair. You you did it. Fuck. Yeah. Time for a celebration. Go in the cave. <laughs> yeah, clearly nothing bad will happen to three clearly unprepared children. Nothing but good can come of this. Yeah, alright, yeah, no. Okay, good good choice to, to take cover, that's good. I would laugh super hard if this turned into a cover shooter now. Yeah, see, Zale's got the right idea. Carl, alright, backing him up. Good. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, really stepped in it now. Let me guess, um... Uh, Burgaves and Erlina are gonna... are gonna come to our rescue here. Or the Headmaster. I forget his name. M M Mon... Montel? No. Moraine. Moraine. All right, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, I, I don't know, just, just try something, do something. Yeah, I mean, whilst you're doing something, turn your back on the one that's about to wreck your shit. Yeah, oh, girl, taking the fucking ouchie. Well, it looked like it stabbed him in the chest, not the eye, but oof, that didn't look great. Oh, fuck. Yeah, crap. Oh, bzz, bzz, and bzz. multi kill. All right, so is Moraine that did the thing? Of course, he's got the big old staff power there. Ah, shit. Yeah, his dude. One of his eyes is probably toast. Hey, come on, Garl, like, took that hit for us. For Valer, at least, right? Don't be throwing shade at him. Oh, yeah, no, his eye's gone. Rip stereoscopic vision. No, oh, and see, well, they kind of got exactly what they wanted, right? To go into the academy, like, just right away. Except Garl. Garl kind of got the shaft on that one. He's got now down to one eye. Not even going to... Yeah, I was about to say, not even going to throw a bandage on that? Just going to let him hold it forever? Come on. Oh, shit. Now we got to say goodbye to him just like now. Alright, well, ba ba ba, -ba. Can, you, can you stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Oh. Sweet summer child. A week is pretty much nothing. Years! How many years? Many years? I mean, yeah, years. Like, what? Come on! <laughs> what do you think? It's gonna take years. So you think you just learned that shit in a couple days? Come on. Yeah. Look, I'm, I'm with uh, Moraine here. This is going to take a while. Boy. Oh, Garl's just getting shade dumped all over him. We won't forget. We won't forget, Garl. Don't worry. Just, uh, you know, get that eye looked at. <laughs> get it? Eye? And it looks at stuff. Oh, okay. Maybe too soon. Oh, 
Oh shit, we got floaty magic too? Okay. So that explains what uh, Headmaster Dude and Erlina and Burgaves did before. Couldn't find him when we went down there. Alright, Zenith Academy. Looks a little threadbare here, Moraine. Everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. Alright. Seems good. When do we start? You have already begun. Ah, nuts. <laughs> oh, shit. And then the elevator separates again and we go even higher. Uh, super cool. Alright. Now, if you tell me that that center jewel bit separates from the other bit again and we go higher still, I'm gonna call you a damn liar, but also be very impressed. Classroom in the sky. Okay, I mean, you know. Weird resonance. Hey, all right. Good, good job, Valer. I knew I chose you for our story leader for a reason. Most of the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Great cross, you were able to feel it. Zail too, from what Arlena told me. Oh yeah, that's right, he did do the whole fireball in the hand explodey thing. Good job, Zail. Hmm. <coughs> Learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors. And the, the, the magic destined to wield and evil is meant to cleanse. Okay. Learn how to fight, too, right? I mean, y yeah, of course. Send your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. I mean, I guess it's fighting on a micro scale, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds boring. I mean, it's kind of neat. You get to make shit, right? Like, that's, that's cool. I can assure you that it is. <laughs> oh, even even Rain is just like, yeah, no, it sucks, but you're gonna do it anyways. Anyway, weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric. Staple the solstice door here. It's prized possession guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the ugh, the flesh fleshmancer. Gross. Just learn your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Hmm. Seems like a bum deal, honestly. Both your body and mind are ripe with potential. You create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. And we sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist. And alone may you officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Alright, okay. <laughs> and the Zale's still like two paragraphs behind. Sewing. Why don't you open for us what is required of you? Okay. Years of sewing. That'll be all for today. Yeah, alright. Let's, let's, go, let's go have ourselves a nap. Spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. Your left is the training room. First thing in the morning. Alright, got it. Above is the way to your chambers, okay. Off limits. Well, we'll see about that. And you're right to the dormitories. Make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. You need to look around, then go to sleep when you're ready. Alright. Fuck yeah, let's look around. Did he say it was to the south? I don't think he said what was to the south. Or is it the elevator out of here? Oh, it's the elevator out of here. Never mind. Alright, well naturally I'm gonna go to the place he told me that it's off limits, so... You know what? Fuck you. Oh, he's got a, a big-ass stone key lock on it, too. Alright, probably pretty smart on his part, honestly. Alright, let's go check out the training room. What are we in for? What are we in for on the morrow here? Looks like a big old fight arena is what it looks like. And ladder climbing training, apparently. I don't know, pretty good at ladder climbing already. Here, yeah, let me find the side you're ready. Yeah, I guess. I guess we're ready. Yeah, we'll be ready tomorrow. Doesn't seem to be any guardrails up here. That seems ill-advised. When, uh... When training children. 
think Osha would be very pleased with this setup. Oh, hey, who are you? Arlena and Brewgrave. Brew, Brew, jeez, I'm gonna have trouble with that name. Brewgaves. Or Brewgaves? Brewgaves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Brewgaves. It wouldn't stop running. Hell yeah. I feel old now. Oh man, I'm with you on that, villager. I sort of remember having the energy of a child. It was pretty good. I wish I still had that. Sewing basics. Oh goody. Boring as hell. Yeah, no, we're not into that. <laughs> Brew God. Brew Gaves. Brew Gaves? Right. I was calling them Brew Graves before. I didn't see there wasn't a second R. Oh, hey, save point. Alright. Seems good. Big old library. Just a bunch of old books. Old books and old books. Alright, good. Consistency is important. Wait, actually. Can we read any of this stuff on the table? like it stood out a bit, but maybe not. Alright, but pick a bed for your, aligning to your magic or whatever. These are red beds. Those don't align to Valer. We need the blue beds, right? Yeah. Alright. Yes. Also, uh, Zale, you might want to head back over to the red side there, buddy. Oh, shit, it's Bru uh, Brewgaves. Ah, yeah, he's gonna be our instructor. Trainer, whatever. <laughs> I wish. I'm leaving tomorrow with Headmaster's kind enough to let us make your first day special. Aw. Oh. Ready for training? Sure as fuck. Okay, what do we got? Oh, damn. He gets an S word? And we get an S-Taf. That's not as fun as S-Word, but whatever. Okay. Oh, he's making us run laps? Oh, come on, Brew Games. I thought you were a bro. Ugh. Why aren't you down here doing laps with us, buddy? Like, lead by example. Fucker. All right, at least Zale gets a little shade, too. Man, those kids are way more motivated than I was. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, at least uh, Valer got the easy bit of that. Sit-ups were always easier for me than push-ups, for sure. Definitely did not really have the arm strength for the push-ups. Terrace when we're ready. Okay. No, we're not ready yet. Just outside. Okay. You know what? We're gonna show Zale up by climbing the ladder again. There. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we uh, sneak into the headmaster's chambers yet? No, not yet. Okay. I guess we still are technically in tutorial mode, right? Kids. Tiny little bitty kids. Uh, ready to learn magic? Hell yeah! And we already know magic, sort of, right? I mean, Blair opened the door, Zale did a fireball explodey thing. And they're scratching an itch far away from you. Focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. Alright. It's working! I think Star Man was that. <laughs> Zale, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, way to go. You distracted each other, you dipshits. Try again. Don't pay attention to the dipshit next to you. Just focus on your own stuff. There you go. Timing is true, it will manifest. On three. One, two, like three and then go, or on three? I guess on three, right? I mean, sure, it's a good first try. Did the hardest part? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, starting is the hardest part, right? One more thing. No matter what he teaches you, remember that this is your life. And you are free to choose not to do the dumb stuff. Well, not yet. You're just little baby kiddos. You don't get that choice just yet. 
Ha! <laughs> Classic. Classic Moraine, interrupting at the worst time. To you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Oh, goody. Can't wait for a couple years of calloused fingers. Actually, you know, getting calluses on your fingers is probably a good idea, actually. Toughens you up. Imagine a piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. No idea what shape to even make. I mean, you know, just try your best. Said he said we wouldn't get it right the first time. So, I don't know. It sounds like a challenge to me, Zale. What if you do... Like, what if you're the one that gets it right the first time? Like, what then? What happens? Oh, Valeria's done with this shit. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Yeah, go for a, a little walk or a, a, a brisk jog. At our current pace, I suppose. And also a save. An important, very safe save. There we go. Old books and shit. How about we learn about sewing? Nope. Maybe not. It's a Fleshmancer. Ugh. Around for good when the dweller of strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? Who knows? Who's who's they? You know, three of us can take on Wraith Island. It's probably a dangerous place. We don't need them. We don't need who. Who knows? Really, there's no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valer and Zale are brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. Ah, is that what we're calling the uh, the reproductive process around here, huh? They're brought by the Great Eagle. Ah oh, man, Marine's saying it's not his not his place to question these things. Not much enough. What about Moyara? What about the twins? Rugaves! Shut the fuck up! Not just a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. Conversation is over. Uh, study here while you carry on with your investigation. First eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. That could be years. I have a feeling that's years. Alright, I mean, yeah, they, they gave up pretty quick there. Trained and they sewed for days and then for months and then for years. No? Okay. Faster? My goodness. Why aren't you, like, again, lead by example. Why aren't you down there doing the push ups with them? Okay, it looks like their magic's getting stronger at least, right? Longer dwellers left to its devices, the stronger it gets. It makes patrol duty essential. Okay. You grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. No, oh, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Okay, so we gotta go go fight the things. Early and often, right? Playing only increases the chances of a world eater. Cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Dwellers are immune to our magic. How can we fight them? Wait. They're immune to magic? Like, cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. Of the heart? <laughs> These moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. Okay. How many dwellers are left? Uh, just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe. Shit, that doesn't sound good. I cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer. Ugh. Just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Always remain vigilant. Okay. <clears throat> what happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? How the fuck did you know those names? Oh, he's not even gonna ask how, how Valera knew about those names. That's fine. <laughs> he's not even gonna answer! Oh, you shit. Come on. You know it's just gonna make the kid even more curious, right? Sound in the night. Oh shit. There, wake up. What? 
<laughs> You're very welcome. Very welcome for that total eclipse of the heart bit. Um, Zale, what the fuck? I heard a voice coming from the entrance. Yeah, so what? There's a lot of people. Actually, there's not a lot of people around here. It's just us two, and the headmaster, and a couple of rando villagers. Let's go check it out. Alright, fine. Didn't need to sleep. As a kid, sleep isn't one of the most important things to get, right? So fuck it, let's go. Let's go look at whatever we got. Maybe, uh, Brugaves and Erlina are back. Or somebody put a note under a pot. Because that's what you do. In this day and age. Dear Valerian Zale. Oh shit! Garl! Did you make another sandwich for us? Probably means I got caught. Writing this is a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the Celestial Willow Jam. You're like, nice. Fucking, what a bro. Alright, everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up, and I can see Marine is there waiting for me. Ah, shit. <laughs> Looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar. How the fuck are you gonna drop the jar without him noticing? He sees you. It means I won't be able to try to visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day, and I can't wait. I like the cookies. Oh, Garl. We don't deserve you, buddy. Hell yeah! Cookies! <laughs> Happened in the Forbidden Camp. How could you tell- how can you tell he's well just by his writing? Like, you don't technically only need one eye to write, and even then you could probably write with no eyes, so... Whatever. He's- yeah, he, he's probably fine anyway, whatever. Never so something good enough for the Elder Mist. It'll happen, just have to keep on going. There you go, Valer. Dig that optimism. So they trained and they sewed for years. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. They trained, they sewed some more. And then they got even better. And Valer's got a rockin' ass six pack, and Zale's doing one handed push ups, and. Shit. That'd be pretty sick to be able to do, honestly. But I don't want to do the work that'll allow me to do it. <laughs> I'm a pass on that one. There you go, you did it! It's a magic. scarf? Okay, you mean those scarves are good? Hell yeah! Oh, uh, he's got a little, like, not a loincloth, necessarily, but, you know, just a little... A little thigh guard, I guess? I don't know. I think valera has got the right idea. Scarves are good. I don't know what Zale's got there. But, uh, you know, he tried his best, I guess. That's fine. Alright, hey. Hey, Moraine, we did it! We, we made our magic shit. Made our magic cloths. No more sewing. Fucking, come on, let's do the, the cool person high five or like the, the um, shit, what's his name? I don't remember the other dude's name, but the Arnold and the whatever, the little like extreme bro handshake in Predator. Dude's working out his eye sockets. He's got a six pack. That would be gross and disturbing, but also exactly what Garl needs is a fucking six pack instead of an eye socket. Um, before we get to that, one more challenge. Um, uh, visitors arrive, perfect time. Visitors? Oh shit, it's probably Brogaves and Erlina. I like being right. 
Hell yeah, look at us. Our sprites have changed twice since you've been here. Basics of combat. Alright. Like, we already know how to... We did the whole couple fights already, but whatever. Basics of magic? Sure. Alright, you know what? Let's let's play the tutorial straight, right? Then you prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. What? By stabbing them before they're able to do it? That seems good. Try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. There can do blunt damage, and Zale has slicing. Let's see, you break this one. Okay. Um. Oh, I see. So that tells those little icons next to her up top tells us what attacks we need to to do to to break her shit. I think, right? Whack, whack. Oh, double hit. Nice job. And then two slices, right? Slice, slice, nice. Good job. Good job, you two. Ah, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. Control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun, Valer for moon. Alright, one moon and one sun. Uh... Does it matter? Can we just do this one? We can't do that one. I don't want to do... Moonerang seems a bit overkill, but alright, that's fine. Do our best. Okay, you know, whatever. We don't need to really do more than one anyway. Sunball? Usually you gotta pay extra for that. Hold A for power. Oh, this is a fucking Geno Beam type thing, huh? There you go. Okay. Ooh, 42. Damn, Zale. MP is a bit low to keep up the pace. Now you must remember to regenerate MP. Right? By attacking normally, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm into that. Yep, it's got a little bit of MP back. Yeah, that's a little three number. I got it. It spells normal attacks avoid ending up in a dire situation. No MP available to get out of it. Let's say you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds. Oh, they're they're actively reminding the player to be like, hey, use your shit. Don't sit on that stack of elixirs or whatever. When you want to use it, like when it's really important, just fucking use it. You'll find another one. Yeah, experiment, keep on varying your actions, find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. Battle actions lock breaking especially. Build your combo energy. You have enough you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battles, so you never hesitate to use them. Alright. So you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Hell yeah. Uh combo. The solstice strike. On you. Yeah, eat. That was an underwhelming combo. <laughs> it just kind of slapped her once, and that was it. Okay. I on your adventures, you're bound to come across scrolls that teach you more combos. Alright, cool. We learned about magic. Good for us. Combat basics. Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, the the Moonerang thing. We, we did a pretty good, like, 10 or 11 one on the real opening enemy thing. That was fun. Just attack me now in any order. Oh, you can change order. That's neat. They turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. All your party members are on cooldown. The round resets and they all become available again. Okay, I get shit. Alright. I'm into that. Alright. S-word him first. There you go. Eat shit, Brugaves. Alright. Uh, Valer, use your s half. Good job. Oh, nice. Good hit. Focus oh, is paramount whenever you're performing attacks and skills. Proper timing, you can increase it. Oh, okay, there's time hits and shit. Got it. Sometimes you can score additional hits. Let's see if you can do it. Press A as the hit connects to increase damage. Alright, do it. There you go. Nice. One more time. Uh, what's Zale this time? Oh, not that. Nah, we fucked it up. Too soon. Stay focused and blah 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 is the hit attacks. Alright. Nice. Good job, Valer. Front runner. Oh no, Brew Gabe's got a boo-boo. We gotta stop doing this. The attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. Yeah, alright. We knew that. I think of timed hits as a welcome addition when if they just literally call it timed hits. Very good. 
sick SM RPG reference, bruh. Rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. Well, I mean, if we don't do it perfectly all the time, we're kind of bad, right? Don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying, and your sense will develop, blah 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 blah, timing your blocks. Yeah, okay. Time blocks, too. Pay attention to anything that starts moving. Proper time, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Sure. Hit connects to reduce damage. Very good. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was super early. He's got a... Yeah, no shit. That was too soon, Brugues. Thanks. So if it presses, the hit connects. Oh, boy. Was that too soon as well? Too late? There you go. Okay. Oh, that's a bit... I'm gonna get fucked over by that probably more than once. Yeah, uh-huh. Too late. There you go. Alright. We're ever gonna have to pay attention. Always stay alert, blah blah blah, but don't be too hard on yourself. Don't expect to block everything all the time. Well, never not do a block. Not about getting it perfect all the time, but just building a growing sensor. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus and you have to pull it off. Try to read your enemies to keep trying. One more thing. One more thing. Ah, nuts and gum. Oh, I wonder if we could have been able to block that. You been, you shit ass. You shouldn't have blocked that. Uh, switch to blah blah blah. KO'd mode, blah blah blah. On their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. Oh, okay. Neat. Refall during the same battle. More KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. You got it. There we go. Ah, ouchie. There you go. Good, good ass block. Yeah, come welcome back, Zale. I know you just got trip nine to the ground there, but you're fine, right? All right, well, that's a pretty late introduction to combat and shit, but we'll see if that's gonna be the, the thing here. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to go. We remembered everything, right? All right, are we, uh, are we supposed to show them our moves here? Captain Falcon would be proud. This is gonna test you in many ways, but not test you one last time. You prepared your vows? Uh, Yes. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Glad they got it. Speak now. Go first, Sale. Okay. I have used my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions. I will enter the world as a blade dancer. Hell yeah. Choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Nice. Alright. Pretty sick. What do you got, Valer? I use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk! Oh shit! That sounds like a way cooler class than Blade Dancer. <laughs> I choose the S-Tap, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Demonstrate mastery of everything as the Academy's taught. Final challenge awaits below. Step aside. Alright. Oh, that's a long way down. Something to keep your health full. 3x tomato clubs. Uh, sure. Okay, that's probably the, the basic healing thing, right? Take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. Wait, you want us to jump down? That seems ill-advised. But alright. Do it, I, I guess. Here we go. Whee! Oh, okay, so there's water down there at least. <laughs> well, it could have been real embarrassing if there wasn't water there. Alright, so we're here. We're here in, in training dungeon, right? Sick ass jams. Ornate stone. Is that gonna be like a. Uh... Yeah, no, 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 I want to, where's our, um, there we go, okay. Is that like a... Ah, 
not a th not an equipable thing. Guess not. What is that? Oh, it's a key item. Oh, I see. It's a uh, probably a key. What with which we can go to the next room, huh? Oh, I see. We have to go put it over there. <laughs> All right. I have some basic puzzly puzzles to do, huh? All right, here you go. We lit the thing. Now there's enemies. Oh no, we gotta do a battle. Batul, can we surprise him? Yeah, get wrecked for one, idiot. Oh, I already fucked up the timing. Good job. Okay, good block. Oh, bad block. There we go. Zale's got the right idea there. There we go. So does Valer now. Oof. Alright. 16 XP! 44 next to go to the level. Shit. Can we go back here? Ah, oh, damn. See, that would have been a good secrety secret. Maybe it's on the other side. Eh? Eh? Ah. That would be a good early time to teach you about secrety secrets. They just didn't do it this time. Yeah, look at that. Zale, you really should have waited for me to get, for Valera to get across before starting. That would really fuck somebody up. Alright, yeah, of course there's a, another Batul. Oh, oh. Alright, what do we got? Um, you know what? I'm gonna ring the shit out of this. Let's go. Ah, that's eight. Well, eight's across the board. Not bad. Not bad. Why are they ganging up on Valer, though? Fuckers. Oof. Not looking great. All right, what do you got? Healing Light and Sunball. Oh, it's got splash damage. Oh, nice. Sick. It's got the whole Chrono Trigger varying attack patterns thing. I love that. All right, do it. Boom! Damn! Double digits across the board. Shit. Zale. Doing the big boy numbers. Alright. Starting to regret throwing a little bit of shade at Zale for being a blade dancer. Park. Okay, they're probably talking about first old boss there. See them off then. Yeah, okay. Blip. Oh no. It's gonna be actual battle. Oh shit, it's got to I mean uh word. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, good. He heals us before we do. Uh, physical weaknesses. You got it. So, fuck you. Nice. All right. Nice. Okay. Two for two. Oh. Okay. We can just kind of panic tap the the block button, I guess. All right. Let's do sunball. Bonk, 36. Good attack, Zale. Good job. Okay, I don't know that that was a block. Now, moon weakness, okay. Uh, what's the name? Of arc, blah, blah, blah. No, let's do the moon ring. I like the moon ring. Ah, 20. 20 is pretty good. <laughs> Nice, okay, I felt like I botched the timing there, but that's alright. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely botched the timing there. 
Okay, back to physical weakness, that's fine. Oh, but now we gotta do the the thing what which stops him from doing a thing. Ah, oh, or he can just eat shit immediately. Fuck you, word. Weird? Ward? Word. But hell yeah, level up animations. Oh, we get to choose a thing too. Alright. Um Magic Death. Mana points, hit points, or physical attack. Phew, well, I'm a sucker for physical attack, honestly. Oh, damn. You can definitely hear, like, the, the messenger OST in that little bleep 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 bleep. Fucking love it. Alright, um, defense, or, oh, man. Like, he's already doing the big boy damage with his magic, so, uh... Physical attack again, I guess. Trained well. Return now to your headmaster. How about we fight again? No. Come on, I want to fight again. I want my 15 silver points, baby! Oh. Okay. Well, we did it. We, we passed the... Oh, shit, it's right above his office. He must not be able to get any work done when when folks are doing their little last bit before they leave. I bet he's poking the, the ceiling with a broomstick and be like, you kids, keep it down. I learned everything, blah, 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 blah. We did it. Record time, too. Oh, shit. Now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Okay. You remember that, don't you, ten years ago? Knowledge is for the Elder Mistoon part. Elders have gathered to celebrate your departure. Hooray, you did it! Now get the fuck out of here. This is one of the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where is Garl? Yeah, what happened to Garl? Yeah, I don't see him. I mean, we don't... Do we know what Garl's grown-up sprite looks like? We don't, so, I mean, he, he could have been standing there and I wouldn't have even know. Delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Two solstices in a row to boot. A rare occurrence. Remember, Grand is so happy to get to meet two more of them. Eh, okay. <clears throat> and they had a nurture and protect them, just like your ancestor had done for so many children of the solstice before. Oh, I see. So that's why we're the important ones, right? We were brought by the Great Eagle on a solstice. So, one in 365 chance, huh? I guess that's pretty rare. Or, you know, one one in whatever chance it is on this particular world. Yeah, the people of Moonkirk like gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. Hell yeah, that's us. Erlene is not impressed. Which, you know, I'm with her on this. This is like all fucking pomp and ceremony. It's just like, yeah, whatever. That's all they get. Oh no. <laughs> Rue Games with the truth bombs. It's like, hey, you know what? They don't have much. Just let them have this, alright? Hooray, to the gate. Let's go. Let's go see off our youngest, but also probably most accomplished warriors. Alright. Oh, no, we don't... Uh, they should've just given me control, so I would fuck around for a bit and try to find Garl. Eh, whatever. Just undertake the journey on your own now. We will not fail. Wait, what are we supposed to do? We're just supposed to go talk to Elder Mist, right? Oh, that won't take very long. Forbidden Cavern, top of Mountain Trail, seek the audience of the Elder Mist, learn how to use magic without using magic. And then we'll be true Solstice Warriors. Lana's might protect you. Yeah, it's clear that the moon won. Solon's light guide. Yeah, it's clearly the sun one. All right. A little on point there with those names. Keep you fed for a little bit. Tomato clubs! Hell yeah! Three more tomato clubs. Which feels a little tough. You could take a look at these. Amulet of storytelling. Sequent flare. What's that? Two relics. Relic section of the game menu. Accessible fly. Okay. Your experience. For a lighter challenge or looking to push yourself to the max, it looks like, okay. Alright, so there's the game mods right there. That's pretty cool. 
Keep an eye out for merchants selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. And wherever you go, remember to take your first assignment. Elmer sends you out into the world. You must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. You keep on training for dire cleansing await awaits us. Jeez. I mean, you know. Yeah, but we'll find a way. We'll find a way to help. All right, I have a feeling that uh, Brogaves or Bru Brugaves, Brugaves, and Erlina are gonna be like the the rebels, being like, you know what, we're gonna help you out, no matter what. And I'll be like, yeah, thanks. Cleanse this world, yeah. Whoa, geez, okay. Volume, people. It's right in front of you. Oh, I see a. I see a chest over there. Can we go back and get it right away? Or no, this is gonna flash forward to before we did this whole thing. Oh no, we can't go back. Oh no, we can't, boo. Come on, Zale, I, I saw a chest in the fade out there. Can we not go back and get it? Boo. All right, Forbidden Cavern then. All right, Valer, you did this once before. Do it again, easy peasy, there you go. Good job, you opened a door. Are we gonna fight those same three fucking snails or whatever? They are gonna be in for a gosh dang surprise. We're all growed up and powerful now. Ain't no eyeballs for them to take this time. Now let's go over here. Nothing. Yeah, I see. Door there, I see a chest up there. Oh, also, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, not skills, relics, here we go. Max HP plus 100% and auto heal after combat. Oh, I see, okay. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback while we'll closing in on the mastery of certain moves. That sounds sick as hell, give me that. And we'll not do the just the stellar or the storytelling bit. I don't think we need that right now. But that's cool. That's good options to have right out the gate, huh? I'm into it. All right, look at these fuckers. Whoa, no. I want to back attack you so I get that free one damage, baby. Yeah, get you some, baby. <laughs> All right, so Zale did the big boy damage with his fucking fire bombs, so. Oh, except we want to probably break this dude's concentration first, right? Yeah, look at that. We did it. Ah, I see. Okay. That's neat. All right. Sunball, the center idiot, so we can, can murder them all, all right? Bonk. Yeah, okay. Excellent. And then we get a cabbage? That looked like a cabbage. Lettuce. Okay, I mean, you know, pretty close. And then our various equips and treasures and shit. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Alright, puzzles. Gotta have you a puzzle. Ah, I see. So we're supposed to weigh that down. Damn! That's pretty good arm strength, honestly, to pull yourself up a platform that's half again your own height. I am impersed. Adventurer's Vest. Alright, so are there class-based equips here, or can anybody equip anything? Looks like anybody can equip anything. Alright, um, who needs, who needs what here? We're both at two de defense, huh? Zale, you've been taking more bots. You take the best for now, buddy. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Alright, uh... -huh. Well, we got two turns to do this. Oh, but Zale doesn't have the mip to do it. 
All right, well. Let's bust the shit out of their stuff, I guess. Oh, okay. Botch the timing of both of those, and that one. Oof. Okay, that timing is gonna need some work. Well, that was kind of Zale to kind of step aside and, and let that shit out attack Valer there. Would have preferred him not to have done that, though. It's a good fucking lead out music though. <laughs> it's really good lead out music. Alright, sorry, what was that? Ah, oh, okay, I see. I see, we're gonna have to climb up there first. We don't have a key, do we? Shit's locked. Shit's locked. And we can't get up there yet. That's alright. First dungeon, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So we jump down here, weigh this down. Oh, hey, say, look at that. Wait, so what is that? Oh, I see, it resets it. Okay. Very good. Probably gonna have to reset it to get to the actual keyhole, right? That's the whole deal. That's neat. Some good, good use of the space here. Forbidden Cavern Key. Like, who who's who do you think is responsible for uh, for coming through and resetting this for the next pair of adventurers? They probably don't like their job very much. Mushroom soup. That's a party heal for 40. Pretty good. And a map? Or whatever that is. Oh, it's a combo skill. Mending line. Oh, I see that chest there. Shiny pearl. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so that's a, a saleable thing. Oh, some tomato. Okay, I have a feeling there's gonna be like some crafting going on too. I really love it, like that repair worker bug in Hollow Knight. Was there a, a dude in Hollow Knight that was just like, yeah, fuck yeah, I, I get to go around and fix shit that adventurers break. Been a while since I played Hollow Knight. I assume that's correct. Alright, how are we doing health-wise? Eh, we're probably fine. Probably fine for a bit, right? Oh, it's an Easter egg. Oh, well. Probably a pretty good chance I didn't see it then. But that is funny. Like, that's a good goof. That's a good lean into the fucking formula. Uh, leeching thorn, huh? That's a... It's a fancy thing, my ding. Normal attacks heal heal for 15% of damage done. Shit. Lifesteal. Love to see that. Okay. Give me like three more of those. Ah, I see. This was the uh Okay, yep, there's that. Oh, no 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 no. Ah, oh, boo! Ah crap. Bro bro. All right, uh, Zale, you knocked the shit out of this idiot. There you go. And, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Let me take some dipshit off the field. Oh, well, okay. All right, whatever. Okay, good, good block. Uh-oh. Okay. The, the person who needed to block did the block. Good job. Okay, also good. Also good, but... Oh, we're player. Uh-oh. Maybe it's not gonna matter. Maybe you can just dunk this idiot off the field, but... Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Excellent. And she got a little tiny, like, two heals for doing it. Because of the whole lifesteal bit. Alright, that's good. That's good shit right there. So despite the fact that Valera took a tumble, she came out of that 
net health positive there. I'm into it. Can't activate the bridge. Oh yeah? But there's another side path. Zale's got his adventure eyes in. Good job, Zale. I mean, we saw that too, but good job, Zale. Oh shit, look at this Dark Souls ass fucking bonfire. Does Dark Souls do the bonfire thing? I think it was Dark Souls that did the bonfire. Oh yeah, let's rest there, I guess. Does that count as uh, healing us up? It sure does. Good time for a save. All back to full and shit. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay, right. Boss time. Yeah, no, there's a gigantic ass fucking cave up there. Look out. Oh no, it's Lavos. Oh no, it's not Lavos. It does kind of look like Lavos though. Oh, gross. It's all wiggly and shit. Uh, alright, okay, um... And what was, what was, what's his nuts talking about? Just use the stuff when you got it, right? Thirty-four is pretty sick, and he was vulnerable. So good job there. Oops, I botched that. Let's see what a a sunball does to the shit ass. Oh, I was a little bit early on that. There was one more up. Oh, and then he's done the moon bit thing. Oh, well. Well, used our moon bit too early. Ah, crap. Okay, let's get these shit-ass side bits out of here. I don't want to deal with what they got. 22, damn, Blair. Nice job. Good block. Okay, well. We'll wait on doing the magic bits until it says, you know, we need that for the whatever. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oof. Not great. Um. You know what? Let's see what his heal's about. Okay, there's probably a, a timed bit for that, too. Oh, hey, look at that. Two moon bits, huh? Guess what, fucker? Time to get moon ranged. Nice. Get shit on, idiot. Okay. Work our way back up here. Come on. Oof. Well, it's still a pretty good go of things, though. Okay. Well, it's not great, but... Uh, sunball costs 8, though. Gross. Uh, I don't know if there's timing on that one. Nice, okay. Good job, Zale. Nice, okay, we're getting it. Alright, I mean, we've got items and shit that we can use, but eh. Okay, combo's ready. Ready to... Oh, oh boy. Okay, Zale, you ready for this sick-ass combo? Oh, uh, HP restored to everybody. That's actually pretty good, too. Yeah, gimme. Shit. Wow, okay. Gimme. Okay, basically full-ass full, full -ass party heal. I'm into it. Okay. 
Okay, good. And you know what? Let's burn this motherfucker. Yeah, get you some. Yeah, Zeal with the kill. Fuck you, weird boss slug thing. Nice. Good job, team. First big one. Yeah, Zeal's pumped. As well he should be. Like, right? I was a big ass idiot right there. Okay, let's see. Oh, that. Okay, no. I'm glad we went back here. 60 gold. And another adventure zest. That's good. Um, nah, give that to Lair now. Alright. Seems good. Seems good. Alright, combat system's pretty nice. I like that. That's some good shit right there. I'm into it. Seems forgiving, which is excellent, at least at this point. Oh, look at this creepy-ass group right here. Four, and two, and I'm guessing the other two are one and three. Yeah, there's one. Where's three? Three is the silent type? Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, three is the silent type. You know what? I can respect that as well. Alright, some creep-ass shadow organization going on there. We did it. We made it through the first area. Sunglow Lake. Oh no, is there a fishing minigame? There's a fishing minigame, isn't there? Hey buddy! Yeah, I'm looking for not doing this. Let's get rid of our shiny pearl, and then we can buy a Squire S-word and sell our training S-word and get a Copper S-Taff instead of a training S-Taff. There we go. That's good stuff. And we can buy additional materials for things. No thanks, though. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's a big long cast. Holy shit, what an arm on that. Oh, yeah, baby, there we go. Oh, it's zooter all over the place here. Excuse me. I would like this fish that we clearly caught through skill alone. <laughs> a lunar trout. Yeah, fillet that shit. And we also need a... a... whatever, right? No, I don't want any of those. No, we already got it! I guess what's... What's the harm in getting more Phileo Lunar Trout, right? Oh, we snapped the line, because we're dumb! Alright, that's fine. I wanted the jellyfish-looking motherfucker. Oh, nice cast! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, wow, what an arm. Oh, that's, that doesn't count, come on. Can I not rally it? Okay, there we go, we can we can dial it back. There we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. We get a jellyfish. Or a man of war. Hell yeah. Okay, that's enough fishing. I see. I see. Alright, well, free materials, right? Into it. Oh, we can swim! Or tread water at a rapid pace. <laughs> there better be something up here for our troubles. Hell yeah! Free picnic basket. Five dairy. Alright, well, that wasn't an obnoxious fishing minigame. So I'm into it. I'm into it for now. Let's see. Okay, so he clearly there's a path of progression, right? A mountain trail. Or we could stop off at a shrine. 
which seems more better to do right now anyways. That save point and everything. Excellent. Okay. Shit's locked. Shit's still locked. Okay. Well, I mean, save point's important as well, right? Can we save uh, whilst we're walking around the overworld? Yeah. Oh, we can prepare snot snacks, huh? Yeah, okay. How does one prepare a snack? An S snack. Oh, Zale's doing just like the whole push up Dillabop. Hey, buddy, what's up? See Garl before leaving. Yeah, it really was, but you know, we weren't really into that. Okay, so we get to camp for the night, and then we get to do a save. And then we get to sit at the campfire until morning. into that. A little neat little extension of the save anywhere on the overworld bit, right? Ah, and then here we are, ten years later, with an additional experience level to our name. And we've caught up to our flashback, right? More or less. Hey, look at that. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh shit, look out. There's something in that bush that's clearly glowing. Should have checked your surroundings before setting up camp. Oh no, it's just gonna be- Oh shit, it's Carl! He's got a sick-ass scar! Okay, that was probably worth the poke during childhood then. Look how much- how much of a badass he is now. <coughs> Feels like, no way, motherfucker! Oh, that's some- Earn the Forbidden Cavern? Yeah, go fuck! Everybody's hyped for Garl. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, reunion! That's great. No hard feelings, I guess. Hell yeah. So good- yeah, alright, so he's now like the fucking Grizzly Adams of this world. He is ready to go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, but they're not- they're not hyped for this. I'm hyped for this! Why aren't you hyped for this, Valerian Zale? What the fuck, man? Buddy Garl is here to help us out. Ah. Uh. Now he would- like, he would help out. He'd be like the fucking- he'd be the- the, the third person in our triple text here. Come on, ain't you two ever played Chrono Trigger? We need a third for the triple text. Practicing our little kid. He's ready. He's fucking ready. Look, he doesn't know magic, but he can cook and gather and shit. Like, he's important. He's the support character. See? He's got... He's got an S healed. A warrior cook. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm into it. Yep. <clears throat> they won't even be flesh mancer minions. I mean, anyone can fight them. Sure about that? Yeah, I can bash him in the fucking face with my plate shield thing. I'm gonna step aside, don't worry. Plus you can't really travel the world, it's just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? I mean, it's got a point, right? Hell yeah. Garl knows his place, right? He's, like, he's practical. He's prepared. He's got one eye. He knows his place. Absolutely. Look, look at this fucking ragtag team. Ready to go.
Hell yeah. Look at this fucking crew now. They're going to be able to use magic without using magic. Get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse so we can fight a what what were they called? A dweller, right? Yeah, what have you been doing the past ten years besides uh exercising that eye socket to a sick ass scar that hides a six pack, right? Train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Yeah, it's hoping to see you come on. Sure glad no one told me it would take ten years. Oh, he's not bitter about it. He's he's a pretty good dude though to, to forgive all that for ten years though. Good job, girl. Good guy, girl. <clears throat> How much food did you pack? All of it. Travel light and there's ingredients everywhere. Well, I mean, stay away from the red and white mushrooms, if you know what I'm saying. Full of juicy berries. I mean, they're glowy and shit. Okay. Hell yeah, three berries. They look way more than six berries on both those bushes, if I'm being honest. Interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Is there going to be a cooking mini game as well? Or we just say cook and it's done? Ah, there we go. We made some jam? Make two jams. Or cook. Hold. Oh, I see. We made a jam with an berry. That's going to be a pretty small ass jam with just one berry. Oh, it took five of the berries. All right. That's still a pretty small jam. But we did it. Good job. Hell yeah. Garl is awesome. That's short for something though, right? Didn't, didn't we hear a longer name of that? Like way at the beginning? I already forgot what it was. <clears throat> Straight up, let's go. You know what? We're gonna go this way first. Or no, this is how we got up here, right? Yeah, this is how we got up here. Although, what was in this? Did we ever go in this little area? Yeah, okay, never mind. No, never mind. Useless diversion. Any good and knowledgeable adventurers always save. Never not do a save. Also. Fuck you, weird s snail things. Alright, um, well... What's, uh, what's Garl's deal? Can he do a... He can do an attack, right? Um... Okay, good, good double combos on all of that stuff. Ah, uh, two out of three. Not bad, though. Oh, yeah, he does the fucking... Shield bash punch combo. Fuck you, snail things. Garl's here to wreck your ass. Alright. Good job, we got some lettuce out of it. Oh, oh. You're not expecting that. There we go. Jump across. Abacus, which looks suspiciously like a, a thing that we can equip, right? Alright, Garl, what's your deal? Cauldron lid. Yeah, he's just using a straight up pot lid. Fucking love it. Alright, what do we get there? Displays non boss enemies HP in combat. Hell yeah. Okay, Garl, you can do that. You're our support character. Probably goes 
back down way the fuck here, so we may as well just get that going, just in case we need it later, alright? Oh, this looks like a secret-ass path over here. Yeah, look at that! Alright, what do we get? Basic armor. Garl, I think you're still without any sort of armor, so... Oh, you can't use that, huh? Oh. But, uh, Zale and Lair can. Can you use the vest? There we go. Hand-me-downs. That's how adventuring works. Oh, shit, look out for this. Moon stuff and crush. Well, we know somebody who can do a sick-ass moon thing. Nice. 20, 20 and stuff all the way around here. Alright, Garl, I think... What, what, what's his skill? Hurl. You can just straight up throw a fucking enemy, huh? Can we throw an enemy into another enemy? Oh, that would have been sick if we could have done that. Nice. Good block, Garl. Boy, those dudes do a number. Nice, okay. So do we have the yeah, idea of sale? Here. Heal up Garl a bit. Okay, there is a time thing to the heal. Nice. Okay, eh, it's still not positive, I guess. There we go, 64 exapa. And some drumsticks that looks curiously like it came out of a piece of poultry rather than a ram, but, you know, whatever. Oh, it's just straight up meat. Okay, very good. <clears throat> We're good with that. And we get some recipes. That's all Garl's doing, I'm sure. And that, more fun with this RPG than last night. Yes, I mean, no doubt about that. Darkest Dungeon 2 can go fucking take a walk. Bunch of bullshit that game is. But this is fun, I like Sea of Stars so far. This is a very good game. Very good game. Oh, that looks like a secret secret over there and I can't get there. Just flavor. Oh, I see that glow back there, though. That's a... That's a dang thing that you harvest from, huh? Tomatoes and peppers and... That's cool. Alright. Keep an eye out for all that. Lettuce. Okay. Lots of... Ingredient gathering. Ah, <laughs> Eh? Ah, oh, see, they could have put Secrety Secrets back here, and that would have been cool, but they didn't. They didn't this time. That's alright. Oh, look at these fuckers. These gosh dang imps or goblins or wanderers or whatever the fuck, right? Oh, look at that fucker. You need sun magic, huh? Well, we got somebody who can do sun magic. Oh, but we can't, can't right now. <laughs> Damn! Um, well, can we just beat the shit? 39 seems a bit, uh, a bit much, huh? Snack at a friend for medium heal, or just fucking... Alright, well, let's start with this. Start with that, reduce his power there, and how much has he got left there? 23. I don't think we got anybody who can do 23. You know what, Garl? How much can you do? 16 is pretty good. And it's not 33. 
but it's something. Oh, okay. It's weird timing on that. Take it. Okay. Oh, 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 he psyched me out there. I thought he was gonna go for Valer. Alright, well. Whatever, Valer's got this. I am actually curious how much, uh. How much does this heal? Can he nourish himself? Hell yeah, self care. 41! Damn, that's a sick ass heal, bruh. Oh, oh, okay. But there's a double block you can do there. 20. Now we're, now we're talking. Good job, team. Oh, it auto did that thing. That's cool. Alright. No pepper unpicked here. Oh, a very convenient campfire. Hey, merchant thing. Yeah, what do you what do you got, buddy? Already got that, already got that. We could just get equipment for or materials for cooking and shit. Or I could not get any of it, because we don't really need it. So, yoinkarooski, let's get a free heal. And then save. And then continue on. motley crew of enemies here, huh? You know, I'm real curious. Ah, uh, I was hoping we could maybe time hit the initial opening attack there. Alright, so what do we got? We got Sun, and we got Bash, and we got Slash. You know what, Zale? Get that fucking Sunball. Torch these fools. 26 is pretty good. Plus that fucking knock the other two dipshits out of there. Yeah, perfect. Good fight, everybody. Excellent fight. Didn't even give him a chance. Oh, let's see. This would have been a good place for some secrety secrets, too. Maybe there's still one. Maybe there's one behind the... Oh, see, that would have been a good spot for one. Uh... Oh, yeah, hey, look at there. There's one. What was that? Is that a recipe? <clears throat> two potatoes, one dairy, and two shrimp. Yeah, I'm not a big shrimp fan, but it sounds good regardless. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna catch him on the backside here. Oh, or maybe not. Alright. How much has he got? 65? Alright, who needs to go first here? Uh, what's his nuts? He needs to go first. Zale, you need to go first. Get your mip back up here. Ah. Alright, 11? Dale, can you do 11? You can. You can do 13, in fact. Level up! So does that mean our entire party levels up? That would be super sick. Garl can become a level 2 warrior cook. Um, alright. Okay, so we don't get the attack buff this time. That's fine. Um, physical defense sounds good. And then... Uh, eight hit points seems pretty good, too. Keep them balanced, I guess. Yeah, oh, he started at level two, because he's a fucking sick-ass motherfucker. That's what Garl is. All right, um, give you... Yeah, I'll give you the defense as well. Keep everyone balanced. That would have 
in a good spot for a hidden item too. These fuckers. Oh. That wasn't quite right. Okay. Um Damn, we're one short of his his fucking AoE thing, huh? Alright, well since we need to do a moon thing to get that dude not doing a thing anyways, let's, let's do it. Ah! <laughs> Alright, pretty good. Ah, oh. Okay, I mean, he's doing a slashy bit. Okay, just delete one off the field here? No, probably not. No. Damn. Okay, good block, I guess. Okay, also good block, but power down. Alright, uh, well, Gar will get him off the field, huh? 24, shit, nice. Okay. Well, I think between Garl and Zale here, we can probably get him out of here. Nice, okay. Bunch of XP, but we got a thousand to go for next level. Hey. Um, let's see, another missed opportunity for a behind the waterfall type thing. Not gonna be happy until we see something like that. see Garl's tightrope animation here. Oh, it's pretty basic. Damn. I was hoping he was gonna do like a, a wibble wobble type thing. Oh hell, there we go. Race, pretty good. Uh, Zale, can you take care of this, buddy? Not quite. Too off, but Garl's got the killing blow here. Fuck you, weird thing. Ram, whatever. Meat out of it, and then that goes all the way down there. Okay, no. Nope. Go back. What's this? Good ass question. That seems like a a thing we should be interacting with, but cannot. Okay. Oh, I see. Keep climbing up. Oh, I see. All right. That might be like a whole Chrono Trigger ass secret door thing that we need to come back to later, huh? That's the vibe I'm getting from that. Alright, Elder Mist. Two children of the solstice and their support character. <laughs> ah. The brave or foolish? Uh, you know, 50 50, right? A gregarious one. I mean, hey, you know? Common folk. Hey, now don't be throwing shade at Gar like that. Did you see his sick ass missing eye? 
You got a cool guy scar and everything. Don't be throwing shade at Carl. Great potential, huh? If you're willing to celestial fabrics? Yeah, I mean, Valera's got this cool scarf, and Zale's got that, like, half loincloth thing going on. Are the purpose and augment your innate magic. But have we now learned how to do magic without using magic? Okay. Cool, I guess. I don't feel any different. Hmm. Okay. Good, good shit. Does that mean our buddy Garl can use magic? Also without using magic? From need. Many battles that await you, victors often demand the use of more offensive magic than you can do with spells alone. That's why attunement to live mana is paramount. Okay. Yeah, none of that recorded shit. Live mana or nothing, buddy. Allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. By the resonance, you create the power to even extend your traveling commit. Did you hear that, Garl? You can use mana, magic, whatever. Hell yeah. You can cook some sick ass shit now. Next time you enter battle, are you ready for your final test? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we've, we didn't balance this dungeon for three party members. We only got it tuned for two. Come on, Elder Miss, don't don't be a stooge here. Let Garl come along. He's cool. We vouch for him, right? Valer, Zale, back me up here. Sprite back with us for the loading screen. That's so cool. Okay. Final test is bring three big relics, relics together by completing associate challenges. Try to stop your immune to physical attacks, and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. Well, I mean, that kind of ties our hands here a little bit, Elder Mist. What's up? Use magic without using magic. Okay. Boost your battle actions to portion your magic attack. Oh, excuse me, my goodness. Long day. Embrace this power and your training will be complete. Alright, cool. Alright. Elder Mist Trials. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, we didn't even get a chance to do, like, the, the funny business attacking before he was ready shit. Oh, right, but we're supposed to do, uh, the whole, yeah, use your magic without- Yeah, see, look, Garl's on top of it. Magic without using magic. Okay, so, uh, boost. Oh, I see. And then... Okay. Yeah, we got yeah, it. We pulled the shit. We upgraded our magnet skill, and we got all the tiny orbs. Yeah, each shit little tiny thing, whatever that was, and we get a free item too. I'll generate live mana holder and trigger and press A to absorb a charge and boost. Three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of a character's magic attack stat to their next action increases power. Character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Nice. Dealing with intricate lock pattern, need to make your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage? There we go. They got my number with that last one. Remember to boost. Or, if one could be so bold, use the boost to get through. 
Uh, oops, we should probably do a, a health restore before we do a, a save there. Okay, sick. So we unlocked the little boost stuff. Got it. Well, there's the three trials. Three relics, three trials, etc. More basic armor, huh? Well, that'll be our... Other folks' defense there. 19 defense? That sounds pretty good. Alright, can we do this in such a fashion as to get our attack? No, of course not. Alright. Alright. Well, Garl expressed interest in trying out this magic without magic thing. So I'd be remiss not to let him try this. No, no, no. Garl, though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Do some attacks. Oh, no, he can't. He is magicless, even without using magic. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Yeah, look at that! Go, girl. Okay, not bad. Some berries. And we move the platform around, okay. Good shit. Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. Over here first, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Boy, let's do, a, let's do a lot of damage just on their own, huh? So now I'm curious. We do... Oh, we can't, right. Zale just did his thing. So if we do maybe a... Oh, but his, his heals are already like 40 plus, aren't they? Yeah, 43, look at that. Okay, that. Boy, they really do not like Garl. You know what? Doesn't matter. I'll punch the shit out of you anyway. <laughs> Alright, more berries. We do that, which... Okay, yeah, I see what's going on. So now we climb down here, hit the switch, get the thing... ...repositioned, right? And then we climb back up so we can jump across and get to that. Yeah, okay, I got it. Puzzles! Very basic, but... What else can you do? Yeah. Turn around. There you go. Yeah. Alright, fine. <laughs> so now, I'm curious if we can... can we do like a an AoE attack, like Zales thing without, uh, whilst having a boost or whatever. Hmm. Apparently not. Hmm. Oh, right, because offensive magic is no good, huh? Alright, whatever. to unlock the switch. Or the relic or whatever. It's one of three, yeah?
Whoa, whoa. That just disappeared the entire fucking staircase and shit, huh? Alright. Cool with that. Um, and then this seems like a good spot to call it a night. One third of the way through this thing. Add a save point. Garl's a super badass here. Joined us like a cool guy. So we're ready. We're ready to take this on with a... Honestly, a pretty cool starting party. I like this so much, but we'll call it there for tonight, and we'll resume next time. Um, so that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT, more Sea of Stars. Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT will be Shmup Book Club. Um, so we'll have new Shmup for month of October, and then a new Shmup for fourth quarter here. That'll be Blue Revolver, and then um, Death Smiles is still on the docket as well. For our other quarterly. Friday, Saturday, we're off. And then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, be long play. Uh, we're super done with Darkest Dungeon 2, so it'll be a, a different game for long play coming up on Sunday. We'll see what that happens to be. We've got some time to think about it. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.